welcome back guys um, as you guys can see on the screen this i'm showing you the previous artworks because in the comment section i done this as a speed art previously but in the comment section a lot of you are asking for a tutorial for this artwork uh, unfortunately guys when i draw this uh, artwork i did not uh, speak anything i just record it as a speed artwork but i can still put this artwork as a small slower version if you guys interested please let me know but today i will do similar artwork to explain these artworks for you guys i will draw two artworks and explain step by step uh, first one will be a seri uh, See, very e easy easy artwork there won't be much things but i will explain you guys how i use the colors in here and apply the color codes and everything end of the day this is also not a very complex artworks but because of the colors it look very uh, unique and nice so since it's a fantasy world we can create anything we want right so same way i will show you guys so this is the artwork i'm going to draw today as you can see this is very basic artwork and if you see without the colors it's just circles and just just random things here and there look like nothing new but when we apply those colors it will look something like this as you can see the difference this one and this one this one look very unique but without the colors it look like this so i will start from the beginning from the sketch i will draw this artwork and i will make it like this on the way i will explain it to you guys also i will ex i will draw more stuff in here trees and stuff like that so the final artwork will look more complex than this one but in my next artwork uh next tutorial will be a uh, complex than this drawing maybe complex than this drawing but i will use unique colors and stuff like that and show you guys how i done it but guys uh, the uh, before i start i wanted to tell you guys uh, you guys can skip this part i'm gonna um, if you are not interested and go straight to the tutorial a lot of you guys when i do speed arts are asking for uh, tutorials but when i do tutorials compared to speed art those videos are not uh, getting viewed same as uh, same as my speed art videos if you go and see most of my artworks are most of my most viewed uh, videos are speed art videos for some reason so that's why i still have to do speed art video guys so what uh, as i was said as i promised you guys i will still do tutorials i will continue to do tutorials but i will also do speed art videos because that's where i get i get the i know some of you are if some of you guys don't like it but in the overall overall section overall uh, those are the videos get viewed i won't be able to survive with this channel if i only do uh, tutorials unless every tutorial i posted get viewed a lot so guys uh please understand and i know some of you always wanted to see everything as tutorial but um it's not possible at this moment uh, guys uh, so because one of the reason is because most of my subscribers are who wanted to learn photoshop and illustrator but at the same time there is more than 50 percent of the subscribers they just wanted to see my speed art and stuff like that so if i have more subscribers who wanted to learn and who are watching my videos then i can do more tutorial based videos than the speed up uh, kind of videos but uh for some reason until now uh, the most viewed videos are speed art videos so guys so obviously i need to have views to continue to support my channel channel as you guys can understand so what i'm thinking is in future i will have two videos posted one as a speed art the same video i will do one speed art video and one educational video which step by step so people who want to, to watch only the speed art video can watch the speed art 
and then the people who want to, to learn stuff from my videos can watch the tutorial videos but i don't want to post same video two times also so maybe i will make diff little bit changes here and there for each of them like the this if we can see this one as an example you guys wanted the same artwork in a tutorial so i use the same technique same art color color effects and everything but in a different artwork like this so maybe something like this so what do you guys think please let me know in the comment section below and i can adjust the channel accordingly i want to satisfy all all of my viewers mm, and some of you guys really want to learn i know and you guys are scolding me <laughs> every time i upload a video saying that i just show off here but please guys if you can see re um, recently i am trying to upload uh, more tutorial videos as much much as possible and uh, guys we go to my channel i also have a new playlist for for the for purely for tutorial videos so i promise you guys i will do more tutorials in the future anyway i think i have talked a lot today let's get start with the tutorial all right guys first thing first i draw the draw this scene uh, mountain scene in the window first okay so we have a background we have a background uh, don't worry too much about the colors because we are going to put the colors later right so we have a background here and i just put a gray tone there we don't need uh, outline for this one and this is the sky and this part will be the lake and we will draw the mountains first so you can draw the mountains using the path tool or you can use the uh, circle tool this one ellipse tool and draw circles ellipses like this and combine them in uh, using pathfinder tool so for this one i will choose the pathfinder tool and ellipse so we can have smooth uh, smooth circles so i draw one then i copy by alt drag sorry alt and drag which will copy and i will place it here and make it bigger you, you just need to see this line guys so the mountain will go like this and from here there is a small smaller version select all of them and unite by pathfinder you can use shape builder tool, tool also so once you select this one just check everywhere in the corner we have sometimes there can be multiple anchor points which will not give a nice effect so in our case all of them are single anchor points so we select them and make them rounded corners like this and here also we do the same yeah so we do the same all right and then we go back and do the same and create another two or three set of mountains okay so since they are behind this this mountain it will be smaller in in size so keep in mind and do the same select all of them and unite them bring you a different color or lighter tone for now this one so these are the further survey mountains so we can just have 
one circle here <coughs> control backspace control backspace and maybe we bring down the sky color lighter yep and all track and deck. unite them and do the same yeah i think now our mountains are ready uh next step is drawing the lake so we cut these mountains from here all the ship key okay we don't need a fill for this one select everything skip the sky and go to pathfinder and divide okay then double click we can delete the divided parts and also in here to a line segment line to and bring it to the edge select artboard and edge and control c select this one and go pathfinder and divide we don't need this part and control v again now sorry Control V again and this time bring it to the other side. Go align, select artboard and the artboard and this time just divide this one. And delete the one. Alright. Now mountains are ready and this one we bring it up so what we need to do now is we need to copy this one and go to the reflection and make a reflection so we have we need to do a word horizontal reflection and copy yes yeah and we can just select everything and align center the final part is drawing the sun which is very easy go to the ellipse tool draw a circle while holding the shift key which will be our sun put a light color and bring it here maybe somewhere around here and control backspace i think we bring the sun somewhere around here and copy alt alt copy and make it bigger and alt copy make it bigger and we have three circles and this one maybe make it lighter bit darker and this one even more darker and all right select all uh, bring this circle bring this circle behind sorry behind and this one in front then select all of them and make it center to each other
I think this circle must be a bit more bigger. Yeah. Okay, so we copy the same. And drag and bring it somewhere like this. Make it just bring it here and we cut them same as these mountains go to the line section and draw a line and select everything and go to pathfinder and make a cut let's select all this unnecessary and delete bring it to the exact place you want to place and arrange and back okay so now our sun is ready the last thing last thing we have to do is bring this sky just copy drag and drop and this one will be our water okay so our scenery is ready now so this this uh, lake must be go behind for now oh sorry uh control backspace okay all right okay guys so now it's the important part which is coloring so now we start with the most prominent object in this scene which will be the sun all right so we start from sun so i want to give a purple and pink and purple look same as my previous artboard so if you guys see so sun also will have that purplish look but also will have the same yellowish same sun kind of look right so let's start with a gradient first because i need to have a gradient color i don't know why these palettes are coming separately today but Sometimes illustrator behave. Anyway, I keep it here. Okay, so gradient just apply from a radial gradient apply from top to uh, center to top. Okay, and here what I need to do is in the center part I need to have a, a little bit purplish purplish and yellowish color something like this but purple will dominate yeah and in the end on edges I will have yellow yellowish something like this yellow a little bit red and this yellow yes yeah, something like this okay and here, I think I bring down more purplish. Great. Okay, this is the color I'm looking for. Okay, so now you guys can see we already placed the placed. We already choose the color we want. So entire scene, the entire scene is going to be based on this this look this color because this is the only one element in this pay in this in this in the sky which is going to light up everything so you're going to see every object based on these colors right okay so i want to bring this one a little bit more bigger and here i just delete this one for now i will copy again and this one also i need to bring down a little bit bigger all right okay so let's go to the let's start with the mountain this one S since this is this is going to be purplish and this 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 one is going to be very like light purple like almost pink look and uh, you can have a solid color or you can have a, a gradient i choose gradient and 
we can just select this one and select so our gradient will be it when it's closer to the sun it will be lighter and when it any other side it will be darker so it's something like this right but in a first i choose the color so you can have reverse also doesn't matter this one is almost light pink light pink something like that yes and the behind one will be something like this yes all right so this is what i'm looking for and this mountain will follow the same and it already put nicely but i want to adjust a bit so i can bring this one here a bit and give a bit more darker tone to the this part so in our in our color theory in this this artwork when the dark when it get darker it will get to purple when it get lighter it will go pink then almost yellow so this is how which is what we are going to follow in this artwork okay guys and uh, for this we can have maybe something like that yes and in here also you guys can edit yeah okay so you guys get the idea now i hope okay guys so before i go and change these uh these mountains i wanted to give a color to the sky so sky also going to be same uh you can have a radial because sun is in here so in these parts lighthouse, when it go uh further away we will have the darker tone so first we apply the gradient to the sun and we draw we choose the radial gradient first and we will have something like we cover the entire entire art space something like that before that we have to choose i think yeah we already chosen okay now we select this one we go back again and we have to change this the furthest one we don't need the center one for now we go to the furthest one and the furthest one will be bluish almost like blue as i was saying when we need reach further away we like, like bluish color because sky is blue right okay then we need, we need in the center it will be something like that okay something like this is fine now select this one this one will have the same effect but when it center it will be yellowish because of this effect okay oops sorry all right so we have this effect is fine and this one will have the same but instead of instead of yellow we will have this this color here and the yellow yellow one will be blue color almost this color just copy this color we don't need this one here go here double click and paste okay don't worry guys this one we are going to change things here so this one bring the opacity opacity to 40 then it will bend with the background this one bring the opacity to 70 maybe 60 is fine yeah okay so we still not satisfied with this this color look here we don't need this one 
this one is should be uh, something like this yeah uh, guys can I just adjust according I think this one looks better to me because we will have other objects in the sky which will cover maybe we bring down the gradient size a bit uh, photo gradient and Yeah, I think this like this. This is too much. I think like this is fine. Okay, guys, I think this is fine. This look is fine. All right. Is uh, this look okay? Now we go back to the mountains. And by the way, we have to take out this part. We can just take out from here. Just select them. Oh, before we take out, just keep it for later. We can take out that one. <coughs> okay. Okay. So we go to the this this one here. So uh, when we were dividing, it divided into pieces. I did done that purposely. I will explain it to you guys in a while. But for now, we just select everything together and apply the gradient first and control G we are not applying like this we need to apply like that okay and the gradient color will be this one and make it other way around and let's start from the let's start from the lighter tone I think lighter tone in, in this case we take out this and bring this one and the darker tone will be almost like the darker tone will be I think we need to bring the gradient Yeah, okay, guys. So I think this is fine. Okay, and we go to this, this one here, and apply the same, and go to gradients. In this case, also, it will be like this, but other way around, and we can play with the colors. And a little bit lighter, and this one, and Okay, guys, the overall effect is already done. Now, what we have to do, remember, we have divided them into individual pieces here, right? So, now what we have to do is we have to change this gradient a bit. 
bit different than okay select this one and alt drag will copy that part and select this yellowish gradient and just place it like that and bring it to the exact place where it used to be and make the opacity like 20 maybe like 10 yeah very less like this okay so do the same for others also so we will have this one here double click on it all drag and just like this yeah and bring it to this place okay and for this one guys yeah, so select this go here so this one will give an extra extra look which will in the final effect which will go to nicer so as i was saying guys earlier the entire look is going to be based on yellow and pink yellow and purplish look and this these are the looks which is going to uh, look nicer in the final effect okay so we do the i do the same for all of these and i'll make that part faster and i come back to you guys all right guys so let's start uh, let's color the lake also so for the lake i give the same effect as the sky but we will change some of the things uh, we will bring it to the correct place here okay but in the lake we have to bring the colors lighter uh, because normally it will it, it what you see here is reflection of the of the sky not the actual color so where, wherever there is a there is a lighter colors it will look lighter wherever darker colors it will look darker right okay so just leave it this leave this part for now we don't need this one okay now to make it more like a lake we have to do the reflection for the mountains so before we start with that one we select the mountains all the mountains together and go into uh, reflection tool and double click on the reflection tool and what we have done same as the last one we do a horizontal reflection and make a copy out of it okay so select this copy drag and drop a copy here but bring down this cop the selected copy and combine everything together okay uh, oops don't combine everything together we have to combine separate select this and ungroup now select all these mountain set and combine as one and this one we don't need delete them and uh, select these and combine as one select this one also the small part is missing and we don't need this and just you can bring it 
back yeah and this one you can bring it in. just I just Alright guys, so select everything and now we apply the gradient. Okay. We have the gradient for this one also. Select everything together and bring it here. Okay. Okay. Select all of these and apply the same gradient and bring the gradient start from darker. For this one, we make it more darker. So also, something like this. And this one, like that. And these two, we can apply the same gradient, but we have to change the color to this color we will make it lighter something like this color this color here okay so we go back to this two and the lighter tone will be the color we copy from here and lighter all right guys so it's look okay and what we need to do now is we have to bring all of them opacity to like 50 maybe like 40 okay and please try to correct these overlapping places yeah it looks good and bring them these even more lighter maybe like 10 okay guys uh, this one also we bring it like 20 this one we bring it 5 okay because when you guys see uh, a reflection on the lake especially when there is a light behind the, the the closest object which because it's blocking this light you will see only darkness here so we have to make it darker even more darker than now and this one also we will bring like uh, 70 Okay, this one we make it 80, this one we make it 60, these two we make it like 40, yeah, look more like, now we go back here and do the reflection, yes, now it look more like a reflection and we have to copy these two. So we copy this one 
alt alt drag and we select control x from this one and control shift v will place on the same place select both of them cut and shift control v paste again select this one and go to opacity not the gradient opacity go to this opacity here bring it down to like 40 maybe 30 and this one we bring it to 40 or uh, 50 uh, like this group together go to reflection and horizontal reflection okay now we copy this one everything here and control x control v so it will it will be like this now what we have to do is we have to cut this we have to select all of them all of these control and make it a one object so one object and bring back here so we give a solid color for testing and place it on except place here you guys can select both of them and bring it down so we won't confuse now we don't need a color here just take out this and select everything and cut and delete this part this part this part and this all right so we bring these things here and copy a place on this place and we can bring this color to opacity to 50 maybe like 60 something like that and this one is okay fine all right so this look perfect and just need to give the gradient a bit more like this and we select again we give another gradient but this time we have to define this more darker tone and this one we make the opacity zero so that okay i will bring it here as you can see when it's going further away you can see the waters waters color here that's what i give a waters reflection okay so i think this look okay okay for now and i still feel like the reflection is not good enough and select everything here control drag and make it as one object now we apply a gradient again again but this time from here like this and this one we will give zero percent and this one we have to give a dark uh, very dark uh, like almost black -ish dark tone and bring it bring it here and now we adjust the gradient yeah like that and bring the opacity again until we satisfied i think like this is fine okay all right okay this look fine now we go here again ungroup everything select all these light layers okay we copy all copy this we don't need this just delete them select both of them also apply this lighter layer and select all of them
bring it front first and now bring it to the place here okay we have this step go to properties and you can adjust the opacity a bit okay guys I think this one look better and I feel like this one should be more like this yeah. okay Okay, guys, I think uh, scenery is almost ready. Um, I, I feel like bringing everything a bit down, further down like this. Then we can have more space for the sky here. But just a thought, guys. So while I'm doing this one, I thought nothing, nothing else. Just want to have more sky. Okay, just bring this up. All right. And also... I feel like the gradient is too much so I think somewhere around here is fine and what we do is for this color we use more more like blue yeah something like this it's look good now okay so now what we have to do is we need to put some stars to the scene before that if you see this one is looking very like odd in this place so we have to have we copy this one all track oops all track and use this gray yellowish thing and just apply like this so we will have some sort of real realistic look here just place it place it on the correct place this is correct also for this one we apply apply for the old artwork okay right so this look better yeah this look better now okay so uh we apply some stars which is very easy just draw the star apply the yellowish gradient and just make these like that Make this smaller. Just place them randomly. All track. Make them different sizes. Click some of them. All track and all drag and just select randomly and and instead of yellow apply a white color for them so that it will look randomized nice okay so the second thing is we 
copy this one control C control double click here control shift V and make it bigger but make it as a outline and just to give another control shift control V okay select this and uh, make it make the stroke 0 0.25 or so 0 0.25 or 0 0.15 okay so this look fine we copy one more control C all those things I'm just randomly placing guys because so instead of gray we just apply white so it will look more and this one opacity bring it like ninety okay Okay guys, double click on this one. As you can see, you can see this part underneath this this uh, this this layer. So we don't need that. We cut these from here and delete them. We don't need to sh show this part there. Okay, S look okay. And uh, just randomly select these. I forget to do one thing to these stars. Uh, you have to just select randomly and apply a uh, rotation just random rotation just select them here and go here and click on any value if not they all look the same facing the same side so okay guys so I think this is good enough what else we can do um okay so we delete this layer again i will redo the sun again and this time with the third layer because I feel like the third layer also needed if not it will it's not looking nicer so we bring it down same as here I will make this part faster because we already know what to do Alright guys, so I think it's okay. I feel like this one should be more more darker. Yeah. Okay, so now we have done this. We put some lines randomly. You can have a new layer so you can keep this layer with the untouch. So I lock this layer and create a new layer. Now we go to the lines and just I just put random lines here first so I created random line select all the lines bring closer to the checked here and select the Sun and make them as a stroke Bring the stroke width to 0 0.25 and make sure the one closer to 
closer to the camera this angle is thicker than the one further away okay so this look okay just uh, you can select all of them and you can give a effect uh, distort and transform maybe six sec preview and make it smooth make the size a little bit little bit for smooth okay so you'll have this 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 wave effect then draw a rectangle covering the artwork and select all of them and right click and make a clipping mask okay all right guys i think this look okay now we we draw a shooting star here which is very very easy just draw a line and you can keep same same as this 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 color make the stroke a bit wider and stroke profile choose this one so you can have you can have thickness on the one side and uh, smoothly gradually decreasing the thickness also select this one select the gradient and you can choose this other way around and maybe give a opacity less opacity it will have more more perfect impact like this and you can also copy stuff here and place it here and right click foot bring it to this layer and all drag again maybe for this one make the opacity less so that it look like it's moving select both of them and rotate it maybe like this yeah and just place it here and make the opacity a bit less yeah and select this one make a reflection copy bring the opacity to like half and place it in the same in place like this yeah maybe the opacity you have to bring a bit so now the background scenery is done so we need to draw the things closer to the screen so we will draw eventually uh, trees here uh, small plants and some uh, islands small islands here all those things on to the drawings too look cool okay so okay let's start with the small uh, small islands or small uh, okay we uh, give a gradient and for this one we cannot i think before we start we create a new layer and bring it to the new layer we can lock all both of these layers 
okay select this and uh, go to the gradient here and we cannot have 80 percent we need to have 100 percent here also 100 percent all right and opacity all 100 percent okay so we can define the color as i was saying the real objects will have like bluish looking color so we need to go with somewhere around here yeah purple but more like blue you yeah, know something like that and obviously the color uh, this small island will have its own trees so we need to define the trees because this is a fantasy art we can do anything we want so i'm thinking uh, tree shapes will be just uh, just like these these are the trees just just small uh, something like this okay and we can place them we can have multiple uh, different type of trees but the far uh, these are the common trees in this drawing so we just copy them and paste them here just all drag for copy select and select everything and combine together we need to draw something like that yep and uh, this color also we give a darker top yeah and all track arrange behind for this we draw give a yellowish tone so that you can see the light on these islands mm -hmm. just I just okay but these lines must be in the same line like that and now we have to have a reflection for the reflection paste the same same thing like this you can change the placement like that yeah and bring the opacity a bit higher yeah okay so like that is fine uh, i think this color we still need to change so let's change it to something like that yeah i think this is better and we draw one more uh maybe here bring this to s19 like that align them okay and just draw one more here and apply the lighter uh, and since the light is coming like this the shadow will be like this and apply the shadow yeah and this one also bring it here somewhere like that
like this is fine yep all right copy this it make a copy vertical copy and bring it here and make it smaller like this okay and just the shadow we adjust a bit like this and for this one also we adjust like this all right guys so i think uh, this look fine so now we make big trees which are closer to the closer to the our camera and we draw like that there is something like this and so draw give a dark uh, purple color like this and make it like five and the stroke profile use this one bring all of them arrange front and don't like that just random these also apply the same profile So we can have like this control G control G control C go here in place and just make it smaller and just change this position randomly so it will look unique not same as copy of this one and go here control V and make it smaller and we don't need this and just mirror this one yeah all right one set of trees are done and uh, so we also have some other unique trees um, uh, for this I for that tree I also I draw same as this cloud and uh, we draw a shape like this and make them all as a group and we just cut them My pathfinder delete and uh, select these two edges and make it corners like that and the also select them make them corners okay cool so we have three three circles and we also draw one or two circles like go to circles so these all because i'm drawing all these things differently because just to have a unique and different feeling and draw a line 
same as that cut it and the bottom part and uh, select both of these edges and make them like this okay all right now we place them like that maybe we copy one more and make it as a make both of them as one object okay so we can apply same color as this one to these trees also and We draw a trunk make the stroke wider and select the edges circle like that yep do the same for other branches also all the shift key so it will draw straight lines bring the bring it like this select all the corners and make them like Just copy this and place it here. Select everything and just bring this one here. And bring it in front. Select all of them, just ignore these and make as a uh, object, expand and select everything. Now make it smaller and bring it here. Maybe a bit bigger. Select all of them and make a mirror and just select everything and make the gradient.
okay and bring it here Let's copy this and place it here, guys, so you can have it. And should bring it. And we don't need these. And one more thing, we bring this to here so that it will be visible. Just adjust this one a bit here. All right, so we go to this one and we do the same. Select all of them and bring it here so it will be visible. All right, guys, so uh, we have to give a clipping mask. So, well, we can we, we will know what are the things inside the drawings what are not. So we go draw a rectangle same as similar to the artboard size, and select everything. Right click, pick clipping mask. Okay. So now we select them and adjust the size. All of them. Alright guys, so what I'm thinking is uh, these things must have a different color. So I'm selecting all of them and apply instead of this this pink same as this one. I, I wanted to apply a reddish pinkish color or something like that. So it will be visible and let's apply this to the center. And the corners will have yellow, yellowish color as as the sun. Okay, and this look nicer. And for these, we will have darker tone okay and select randomly some of them and instead of pink we will have like red yeah something like that and some of them maybe this one and this one will have like orange look So this is exactly what I did for the previous drawing also guys. So I had some random colors to balance it out. And it came nicely. And what else we can do? Can bring behind. Yeah. Something like that. Maybe select all of them and bring it up. This one here, yeah, 
Yeah, so now it's better. And we bought this one also. This one cannot be here. It must be here. Yeah. Okay. And this one, we cannot have a transparency. It must be darker tone. Yeah. Hey guys, I think this looking okay. One more thing I have done in the last drawing, I use uh, use unique brush uh, brushes to create some some uh, plants. So I will do the same here as well. Now number one is we need to have a circle for this one uh, you cannot have gradient colors because you cannot create gradient brushes unfortunately so you select both of them align them center and make sure these colors are not gradient the uh, these are solid colors but you can change them later on so i will apply solid color solid color and align this is also must be solid line okay so bring it front select everything center make it smaller bring the stroke width a bit higher you can keep this stroke as stroke or you can bring it down it doesn't matter and now let's go to brushes if you don't see the brushes here go to windows and open up brushes yeah okay and create a art brush okay and make the path uh, this is the flower so make it up like this and okay so now we go to brush tool if we draw it will be coming like that okay so delete them delete them just draw go to brushes just like that randomly select all of them bring this smaller like this 0 0.25 and you can go to object path simplify preview make them smooth okay you can make them smooth and now you can select all of them object expand appearance control G now select each of them and now you can apply the gradient okay control x i don't need this one anymore control v all right guys so okay guys so hopefully this one helped so we can have more things in here but for this drawing i think uh, it's already one hour plus so i think this is hope you guys learn something from this drawing and i apply the same color tone similar color effects for this drawing as my previous drawing 
so my next artwork or probably in i will explain another artworks but very complex one similar to the previous artwork in the future okay guys hope you guys learn something new from this artworks thank you for watching and see you guys in the next artwork